All right, welcome back. Let's talk about styling text with a couple of HTML elements that allow us to make font bold or emphasized. So here we have a bunch of hello worlds that are spit out. Uh, if we wanted to embolden some text, we could use the B tag, which says uh, stands for bold, and we can wrap that around some hello world string and save and refresh. And you'll notice that this hello world is now bold. Um, we can also use EM to emphasize uh, some text. So if we refresh, we'll see that it's now italicized. Um, you can also use I, which does the same thing. It will sort of make it italic. Um, you can use strong as another way, uh, another tag style to make it bold if you'd like. So you'll notice that both strong and B tags both sort of make the, the, the content bold, but the difference is that strong means that there should be like strong emphasis on this text. So this, it has a little bit different uh, meaning. Uh, it means to have a strong, like this is, this is a strongly important part of your text. Whereas B just means like make it look bold. So they both have like the same effect, but they kind of have different meanings for the tag. Similar deal with I and EM. So if we have I, uh, we're, we're just saying like italicize this text. Uh, but with EM, we're saying this, this is not only italicized, but this is italicized because for some reason the, the text that is within these, uh, you know, the text that is italicized is important. It, it, it expresses some like extra importance. So that is really like the difference between I and EM or strong and B. Uh, but really in practice, like they're just going to show up the same way. Now, I, I know that you were wondering, how do we make the text extra tiny? How do we make it small, right? We've talked about how to make it really big, but how, how might we make some, some small text? So let's add another P tag here. Um, and we'll say small. And inside of the small tag, we can write some small text. Um, so like, I, I'm some tiny text. Okay, so we'll save that and refresh. And then we have some, I, I am some tiny text. Now, if you also had some text that you wanted to sort of like cross out, like uh, like this is a completed to do, a completed to do, you might put that inside of a, a, a del tag, meaning like it was deleted. Okay, so if we refresh, we can see that a, this completed to do was crossed out. It's a, you know, uh, the text has a strike through. So Couple more we can go through. If we wanted to highlight some text on the page, we could put that inside of a mark tag. So we would say like, I'm highlighted. And that should turn up uh, yellow by default, but we could style that if we wanted. We also have like subtext and supertext tools. So if we wanted to put, you know, like E equals MC squared with the two that's a little bit higher, we could write that. So we might say something like E equals MC and then sup two that should make E equals MC squared. And the two is like up in the air. Um, and then if we wanted to do something else where um, we had the number down below, if we want to write out that something is like log base two of something, we could use the, um, the sub, which will put the number down below. So we can say like log sub two, or let's say four, or whatever, we save it refresh log base four of something. Um, so this is kind of a way that you can control uh, the position of the element. So we have a, a way to make something strong, a way to make something italic, so or bold, italic, small, crossed out. You know, we have the strike through, we have highlighted, we have um, super text and subtext. So all of these allow us to sort of format the text. And this is, uh, you know, pretty, pretty handy tools for when you're uh, just trying to make things look normal with some really basic HTML tags without controlling uh, with CSS. In the next episode, we'll figure out how to connect our pages together with links. So we'll, we'll create links between two different documents and we'll save those and we'll click around in the browser to see.